my name is Maya Hazlett and today I'm going to show you how to do an experiment on soil particle size. Uh, the goals of this experiment are for youth to learn about the different sizes of soil particles um, and learn how to categorize them into different um, textures by a uh, feel. So for this experiment um, you'll need sand, uh, flour, and also clay. So about a cup each of sand and flour per group of three to four youth is good, and then a block of clay. Uh, for the clay, it's best to tear it into smaller pieces uh, so it's easier to work with. Uh, you'll also need a mixing bowl because they'll be mixing uh, the different soil components together. Uh, I have a tablespoon measure so I can measure out the same amount. Uh, it's also nice to have a sample of actual soil, field soil, garden soil, um, so that they can compare it to an actual um, soil sample. Uh, you may also want a clear jar with a sealable lid. Uh, it's another way um, to look at the different components of particle size in a soil sample. Uh, so uh, for this experiment, um, I start by having the youth um, touch the different um, particle sizes. So the largest particle size is sand. Uh, if they should touch the sand and rub it between their thumb and finger. And they should notice that the sand feels gritty. The uh, medium particle size is called silt. Uh, we're using flour, it's a similar um, size and texture to what silt would be. And again, pick it up, rub between their thumb and finger, and they should notice that the flour feels quite soft uh, as compared to the sand. Uh, then they can come and try the clay. Um, the clay is tougher and sticks together, and they should also notice that the clay feels sticky. Now, soil is usually not just one of these particle sizes. It's usually a mix of different particle sizes. Um, so the next step is to have the youth try combining the different particle sizes and see what that feels like. So I'm gonna take a, a tablespoon of sand and a tablespoon of flour. So now I know this is 50% sand and 50% flour. And then they can mix it together. And then again, rub it between their thumb and forefinger to see what that feels like. Now warning, this experiment gets messy. Um, so you'll want to leave some time for cleanup afterwards of the tables and of the participants. Um, it's fun, but it's messy. So they can then try different combinations, um, try the clay and the sand together, try the flour and the clay together, um, try all three together and just touch them and see what they all feel like. Um, I like to have the youth uh, take notes as they go along uh, and record their observations. Um, once they've sort of gotten a feel for what the different soil particles are like, then you can have them do the same thing with the field soil. Rub it between their thumb and finger and have them try to make an estimate of what they think the soil particles are in this one. Um, another way that they can look at that is you can mix that same soil in with some water and in an hour or two the soil will settle out and the different layers will tell you how much there is of each of that particle size. The sand will settle out first and so the bottom layer will be sand and then you'll have a layer of silt and a layer of clay. And so you can see what the ratio is in that soil sample. So this is a fun, um, easy activity to do. You can set it up um, pretty quickly. Uh, and it's a good way for youth to start thinking about what exactly is in soil. Uh, and you can also have them discuss how these different particle sizes might affect crop growth. Uh, for more ideas uh, on fun experiments you can do, uh, please take a look at our other videos.